from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Good evening, I'm Derek Stahl in the ABC 10 News studio. Those who have fallen ill from coronavirus may be getting more sick time off work. San Diego Representative Mike Levin is co-sponsoring a bill that would give an extra 14 days of paid sick leave to workers. The additional days would be used during a public health emergency like the COVID-19 outbreak. Residents say they support the bill, but hope it doesn't hurt small businesses. The FBI is looking for a masked thief who robbed a bank with a bat in Bankers Hill. These pictures show a man in a white mask walk into a union bank on Laurel Street Tuesday afternoon. He demanded cash from a teller and then ran off. Luckily, no one was hit with the bat. The robber was last seen wearing blue uh, jacket and jeans. Anyone who's got information should call the FBI or Crime Stoppers. Well, pouring showers wreaked chaos on roads all across the county Tuesday. An atmospheric river is snaking above San Diego, pumping heavy rain into the region. Floodwaters drowned streets in Fallbrook and cars piled up on the 5, 805 and 15 freeways during the morning commute. County officials are handing out sandbags for residents who need them. The CHP is also reminding drivers to be careful on those slick roads. And Angelica Campos is here with us now with a look ahead. That's right. So when you get the jet stream and a storm combined, you get heavy rainfall. And that's basically the story with this atmospheric river. Close to two inches of rain in Palomar Mountain will most likely see more on the way in San Diego, about a half an inch of rain. As of late Tuesday night, we're expecting more showers overnight and into tomorrow. Coming up, I'm tracking how much more rain we'll see through the rest of the week.